Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add your own filters to lights in just five minutes and make them look more intriguing, cool, mysterious, or just simply plain awesome. Now, this is a standard render now with just a, a 8.1 female figure from Daz and I have a front light and a back light. The front light obviously being very soft and this is a standard, you know, uh, kind of professional light setup and we're gonna spice it up now by adding a third light and I'm gonna show you how to add those filters to that completely manually so first of all I'm gonna just disable rendering and I'm gonna turn on my working light so I see what's going on I'm gonna add another light if you've been knowing me for a while you know that I love spotlights all right <laughs> I call it effect light. This is my favorite light type. It has the most control of them all. Let's keep that here and just switch to effect light here. And I want this light to come a little bit from the side. So it has a cool impact on our girl here. All right. Now, if I turn this light on, nothing fancy will happen right it's like you're gonna dim the frontal fill a little bit let's use let me just turn off hidden properties there we go i want to dim our frontal filler and add you know uh, increase the effect light a little bit just to show you how that looks right now and uh, let's crank it up a little bit so that adds kind of like a you know key light if you will and it's also very common in photography nothing shocking right but the thing is by adding a filter to this very light you can create shockingly cool effects let me show you how that works all right let's head into photoshop and simply put i'm going to create an image 2k times 2k and fill it with white the reason is that we're going to be creating a transparency map and put it in front of our light uh, in the plane object. And you know, when it comes to transparency masks or maps or textures, white is solid or opaque and black is transparent. So now we're going to create our cool effect. And we want to have hardness kind of pretty much all the way. So it's very sharp. And I'm simply gonna create a, a pattern of rays that I can you know project and you can get really crazy here creating all cool kinds of effects uh, we don't need to go into that right now and if it's a little bit jaggy you don't really need to worry about that so much because we can control how soft this ends up right inside the studio so all you need is a transparency map that has some kind of pattern in it. You can, by the way, look up patterns online. There is a lot of you know, cool uh, combinations you can do here. But let's just save that. And nothing too shocky. Let's just call it map one and JPEG and save. There we go. Let's close our friend Photoshop and let's get back into the studio. Now, what I'm going to do is create a new plane. So primitive plane one one is fine. I'm going to parent that plane to the effect light. Now in the perspective view, I'm gonna look up our light, which is over here. It's, I think it's uh, this one, right? And what I wanna do is uh, click on the plane and go to parameters and zero its position, rotation, all that. So it ends up right at the center of our light. Next, I wanna tilt it like so. All right, and I can also move it slightly away from the light so it's right in front of the light and if I move the light if I you know uh, decide to move the light uh, uh, you can see that right here if I move the light uh, the uh, plane will just automatically follow even if I rotate All right so it's pretty cool now undo those so what I want to do now is head back into our light view here and uh, use texture shaded and uh, what I want now is for the plane to have our texture so I'm gonna click on here make it completely black 
I don't want to have anything. I don't want any light catching or reflections or something like that. And just throw in our texture here. And click on our extremely advanced map, which took us five hours to create. It didn't, right? Now, so um, I think I accidentally moved our plane away. There we go. So now we have, I'm adjusting now the distance from the light. All right, so this is the, the plane. And as you can see, we can now dress our scene, all right? We can decide where shadows go. The black things right now are the shadows, and what's transparent is simply what we're going to see. Uh, so you have a lot of options here. One of them is to just, you know, move this around and say, hey, I want a little light in the face, a little bit more, maybe here on the chest or whatever you want, right? Uh, cool, but we can also rotate it here to change how and where exactly you know ends up so here's where this goes really interesting right now cool and we can just uh put it like that so she gets a little bit of light in the face and let's see how that looks so the the trick i've surpassed five minutes but that's because i'm explaining how to do this right but it's really quick the trick to get this to work is to not have too soft light. So it's very important that you go back to your light, parameter settings, and lower the size of your light. Now, if you just do point, you're gonna get very, very sharp light. I kind of dislike that, um, doesn't look natural. And besides, ladies don't like that, right? Ladies love soft lighting. Ladies are soft, so use soft lighting where, where it's due, right? Uh, now, just lower it to maybe five. That will ease in the shadows a little bit, but you can still feel them, right? Now, the next thing to do when you're using such effect light is to lower the frontal filler. Because as you, you know, increase that, I just want to show an example, if you make it really intense, you're going you're gonna to soften this effect light, and that kind of kills the, the fun, right? It takes away the fun from it. So lower it quite a bit until you barely can see it. It's still there providing some extra, you know, info, right? But you got the mystery right now. And the thing is, this type of lighting uh, has so many cool options, so many different styles. You can have smaller pattern, you can rescale it. You can frankly go to the plane, to the surfaces, uh, settings and here use vertical tiles too and vertical tiles too and have a lot of these smaller patterns now across right so it's quite easy to play with this and then simply uh, move that using for instance translation tool and just reposition it now so now you've got a ton of cool small effects across the image and just playing with that and creating pure magic. So see guys, filters, awesome stuff. It literally takes five minutes if I don't explain at the same time, right? And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to master Dash Studio, we had a really cool deal right now. One dollar for seven days trial. And that's our Super 3 Art Quick Start. So go ahead, check that out below. There's a link below. And guys, have fun with your art, right? Tweak and test things because the possibilities are endless. Again, thanks so much for watching. Check out the link below. See you next time.